This is a GCSE video on ray diagrams and lenses. A lot of things use lenses to help focus light. Things like telescopes, the glasses that you use um, for your eyes, microscopes, magnifying glasses, and lots of other things. Light is focused by a lens. This is an example of a converging lens. It's called converging lens because if light comes in, parallel, if rays of light come in parallel to each other, then the lens converges them, it brings them together to a point. Anyone who has ever killed an ant by using a magnifying glass knows that if you focus a beam of light, then it focuses onto a point and that point gets very hot because all of the energy is focused on that single point. If these rays of light are coming in parallel, then this point here is called the principal focus. And the distance that it is away from the lens is called the focal length. Now a single point of light doesn't have very much use if you're focusing it on something, but focusing something to create an image has a lot of uses. Cameras, glasses, telescopes, and all kinds of different things use images. So if we have a converging lens like this, then we know, as we've just discussed, that on the central axis of that lens, that line that goes through the middle, somewhere along there, there is the principal focus, and I'll call that F. It's going to be the same distance either side of the lens, so normally I would use a ruler if I was doing this in an exam, but I'm just going to do it by I there. So those two Fs are exactly the same distance away from the centre of the lens. Those two Fs are the focal points of the lens, and if we have an object here, I'm going to label it object, then we know that light comes from the object because it's reflected from the object and that is how we see the object. So we can draw three rays of light. In reality there's loads and loads and loads of rays of light but we can draw three principal rays of light which help us find where the image would be from that lens. The first one goes from the top of the object straight across horizontally parallel with this axis put an arrow on it so we know it's a ray of light, and then from there it focuses down through the focal point and keeps on going down that way. The second one goes straight through the centre of the lens. Now if you're going straight through the centre of the lens, because there's no angle at all, there's no refraction. So The one that goes through the centre of the lens does not refract at all, it doesn't change direction at all. The third one that we can draw goes through this focal point here until it meets the lens. It only refracts at the lens, it doesn't change direction at the focal points, it only refracts, it only changes direction at the lens, and once it's there, it goes horizontal like that. Now you can see from the diagram that all of these lines, if you use a ruler, all of these lines meet at the same point. And this point here is that point. So, we know that this is going to be our image, because that is where all of those lines are meeting. Now I can use a ruler to measure that image, and using that ruler I can see that my image is about 5.8 centimetres tall and I can see that my object here is 5.2 centimetres tall. So in this particular case the image is magnified because it's bigger and also it is inverted because it's upside down. 
It is formed by real rays of light. There are no dotted lines here. Those rays of light are real, so we can say it is a real image. You could project that image onto a projector, onto a screen, and you would see an image. So it's formed by real rays of light. So now we know how to find where the image would be, and we know how to describe that image. Now, if we take another lens, another thing that these lenses can be used for is magnifying glasses. Now, magnifying glasses make things loads, loads, loads bigger when you're close to them. But if you've ever used a magnifying glass, you'll know that if you bring it too far away, then the image inverts, it turns upside down, and it just looks quite strange. So the way that magnifying glasses work is if we add our principal focuses, foci, about here and here, then the way that magnifying glasses work is that you have your image less than the focal length away. So let's put an image in here. Sorry, an object. That's the object. Let's put the object in there. Now, if we use an object that is closer than the focal length, we can only draw two rays of light. The reason for that is you can't have a ray of light going through this focal point because it'll go backwards. So the two rays of light that we can draw for a magnifying glass, we have the same one, which goes horizontally, and then it goes down through the focal point. I'm gonna use a ruler for this. Then it goes down through the focal point on the far side. And then we have another ray of light, which goes through the middle and does not get refracted. Now you can see here that these two rays of light are not going to meet. They're getting further and further apart. But if we continue them backwards, and we use a dotted line here because they're not real rays of light. The real rays of light are just getting further and further apart. But if we carry these rays of light on past the object, then somewhere they meet, they come together. That place is where your image is formed. Now your image in this case you can see quite clearly is magnified, it's much bigger than the object. And it's also the same way up and we call that upright. We can also see that it's made by dotted lines which is not real rays of light. The real rays of light are coming from the object and going out this way. There are these ones, these dotted lines are not real rays of light so we say the image is virtual. The image is also on the same side as the lens, which makes sense because if you use a magnifying glass, you're looking at an object that is underneath the magnifying glass and the image that you see is underneath the magnifying glass as well. But if you tried to put a piece of paper in between where the, where the object was and the magnifying glass to try and get the image on the paper, it would block out the light from the object and so you wouldn't form an image. So it's virtual because it cannot be projected onto a screen. So this is the ray diagram for a magnifying glass. Now, if you are studying IGCSE, you should stop here because you do not need to know about the next lens. If you are studying GCSE with AQA, you need to keep watching because you need to know about one more lens. And that lens is the diverging lens. A diverging lens looks like this. And I'll put the central axis in there as well. And then the focal points can go here and Okay, remember they're the same distance away from the center of the lens. So, the first line, that, oh, we, we need an object first. The object that I'm gonna draw is here. Object. 
Okay, and the first line that I'm gonna draw, as usual, is horizontal from the top of the arrow. And we know that a diverging lens spreads out. Diverging means spreading out, so it's spreading out the light. So instead of going down towards the focal point, it spreads it out, so it goes upwards this way. And you can tell which angle it goes upwards because it originates from this focal point. So obviously these are not real rays of light from here, so we do that as a dotted line. But then this is a real ray of light. So the ray of light goes horizontal and then it goes upwards as if it was coming from this focal point. The second ray of light, as usual, goes directly through the middle without being diffracted, refracted, sorry. And you can see that these rays of light are already crossing each other. Now the only other ray of light that you can add, which should cross in the same place as well, aims for this far focal point, but as soon as it hits the lens, it gets refracted, so it goes horizontal. And as you can see, these three rays of light look like they come together, and they all look like they come together here. This is where the image would be, and you can see that the image is smaller. The word for smaller is diminished. You can see that it's formed by dotted lines, so it's not re real rays of light, so it's virtual. And also it's the same way up, so it's upright. That is the lens, the ray diagram for a diverging lens.